Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can make your audio sound more even with the help of vocal channel in DaVinci Resolve. So without further ado, let's start. There are two ways that you can use to do this. Uh, first one is to use it on a clip basis. If you want to do that, you just go to effect library, then here vocal channel, you drag that on your clip. But if you want to do that on track basis, for example, if you have all your dialogue that you want to make more even, sound more even, then you go to this mixer and um, go down to this plus. I already did apply some noise reduction, so if you want to learn more about that, just let me know down in the comments. Anyway, you go to this um, plus icon, go to Fairlight effects, and then down to vocal channel. You have three options here and you can include all of those options. So first one is high pass. Uh, you want to include that because with the high pass you remove all the low frequencies that you actually don't need in your um, dialogue track. You can adjust the setting, play around with it. And then next option is equalizer. And here you can basically find a frequency in your voice that is again really bad and just reduce it so it's not that uh, noticeable. The way you do this, you click here to change this wave um, to more narrow one so you can uh, more precisely uh, find that frequency. You have this mid freak knob that actually allows you to move around this frequency range and this gain goes up or down uh, depending on whether you want to increase it or decrease it. When you're finding your frequency, bad frequency, you want to increase it so you can hear it. After that, when you find it, just lower it down. And I think it is somewhere around here that back bad frequency. So I'm going to leave it something like this. At last, we have this compressor, and it is secret ingredient because it will make your um, really loud parts lower and lower parts louder, and not lower, quieter. Anyway. You have this threshold command and with that you tell the compressor which uh, loudness you want to choose. Basically it draws a line and everything above that line it will be affected and compressed. Play actual um, dialogue and play around and find what is the best threshold. So let's do that. And after that you have ratio and with ratio you choose how much of, of the sound it will be compressed. So if you do stuff on web you can raise that up quite a bit up until 7 it's okay. But again you just play around. I'll just put it at 7 and play around. And after that we have reaction and with this reaction we control how fast it will attack. I mean how fast or slow uh, this will happen. Around 0.2 it works for me. And the last is gain. We did a lot of lowering down of our sound and we want to make it louder. So we can use gain for that. Uh, I'm going to play it and uh, adjust it in real time so you can do the same as well. This is a test quiet so we can make it better and... And this is basically it. Now I'm going to 
play um, our audio with vocal channel on and without vocal channel so you can really hear the difference and you can as well uh, look at audio um, here and really see the difference this is with vocal channel on this is a test and today we are trying to talk loud and quiet so we can make it better and just see how it goes and now with vocal channel off this is a test and today we are trying to talk loud and quiet so we can make it better and just see how it goes I hope that you really could hear the difference and I hope that it will be really helpful to you and it will save you a lot of time um, you you know sometimes it it really can uh, replace boring uh, keyframing so although sometimes you might want to help it a bit and keyframe if it's really needed if the difference is too big part of, but for the most part it will do its job and just make your uh, audio sound a little bit better so if you did like this video um, comment it down below and subscribe for more um, videos like this for more editing tips and um, until next time have a nice day and goodbye